Hello Trinity friends and happy Wednesday from Miss Liz's car today. You may be wondering why are we in a change of location today? So fun ministry insight if you did not know that Miss Alyssa actually goes to the women's unit out in Gatesville. So we are recording live from uh, Patrick O'Daniel unit today. Um, it's been a really unique um, way of ministering that, quite frankly, I would have never imagined in my wildest dreams, um, but I have seen it richly bear fruit in my life and in the life of the women that I get to serve. And so we're actually working through a new study, so I'll give you guys some insight. So we go in and you're actually in a room with about 30 plus inmates and no guards, no security, just you and a bunch of humans. And there's a time of, of prayer and reading scripture, um, laughter, um, maybe some tears, talking about some heavy things in, in the lives of inmates or maybe us as volunteers. And it's been really cool. Um, I've been really challenged by that and, um, and anticipatory of how the Lord is going to continue to work through this. So our new study that we've been working on is Goliath Must Fall by Louis Giglio. I'm going to read you a quote, and I hope it resonates with you as much as it resonates with me. And it says, faith comes alive when we take holy risks for God. And I don't know if y'all have ever faced a uh, like two by four in the moment where the Lord just uses a line or phrase, maybe it's a lyric in a song, and you're like, heard, I got it. And to me, that quote tells me like, faith comes alive when we take holy risks for God. And I don't know if y'all are kind of like Miss Alyssa in the sense where you like your normalcy, or we become complacent in the day in and day out. And prison ministry has challenged me in ways in which it brought a lot of discomfort at first. I had a lot of preconceived notions, what prison ministry was like, um, what the women were going to be like, and the Lord has just completely shattered that. And it's brought a lot of impactful relationships to me and learning about the Lord's faithfulness to these women who um, have obviously done something to end up in a prison facility. And my encouragement to you is where in your life is the Lord calling you to take holy risks? Is it maybe with a friend or a neighbor and, you know, starting up maybe a friendship or relationship? Maybe they have young kiddos and wanting to get your tinies with their tinies together. Or maybe it's a new opportunity. Maybe you are so familiar with where you work, but the Lord is touching on your heart that something might be coming up for you. So my hope and prayer is that you are just willing to boldly and bravely take holy risks for the Lord and being open to the opportunities that he might place in front of you. Um, that doesn't mean you have to go to prison. You can go to maybe a mission trip for the first time or Maybe there's an area at church where you've been really wanting to serve, um, but just taking that next step and contacting the ministry leader to say, I'd, be, I'd love to do that. How do I get more involved? Um, it could be, you know, starting a new friendship, a new relationship with, um, and building up your community. That can be really hard and intimidating, um, but I hope that it pairs rich fruit in your life. I hope that wherever you are this week, that the Lord um, just places his hand upon you and you know that he's ever present with you and that you are so deeply and faithfully loved by him. So go out there, take holy risks for the Lord. See you next week, guys.